Today's video is bedtime routine in three minutes. I'm Joshua. I'm Lucas. And I'm Eric. Eric and Lucas are licensed professional counselors, and today I'm going to only give them three minutes to tell you everything you need to know about bedtime routine, and the rest of it you'll be able to learn from our website. So we're going to get the timer going and give it to me. Here's one of the most important things that you need to know about a bedtime okay. routine. Your kids don't want to go to bed. True. No joke. They're emotional thinkers, so they're still thinking, play, play, mm -hmm. play. Play, stay up, spend time with mom, do the adult stuff, meaning watch their movies, tag along with them, get them to play with me. Where's the Play-Doh? I'm falling asleep. They, they, I'm falling asleep, and I'm uh, unhappy yeah. that I'm falling yeah, asleep. No, this no, can't fall be happening. Asleep. Yeah, yeah. And we were trying to go to bed last night with someone holding onto the bed rail, jumping up and down, going ah. ah, ah. Right. It's like, okay, buddy, it okay. is bedtime. That yeah. was your wife. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a whole different little three-minute thing. Yeah. No, because some of the things that you have to do is make this an activity. Right. Make it a planned activity, a structured activity. You mean a routine? A routine Holy activity. Smokes. Right, because mm. once your child knows that this is the routine that happens at this time, mm -hmm. they actually get excited about it and get into it. You take a bath, you do this, you, you could, read a story. There's yeah. there's some of the different things mm -hmm. off of, you know, our material, you know, but you can set this up to where it makes it easier and they look forward to it and then it transitions them towards bed and you can get all the snacks and all the drinks and you can have that in there. We put this in the manual and it just makes bedtime a much smoother thing and it helps your kid understand that things come to an end. Right. When before you were they can saying, come to a beginning again. Yeah. You were even saying that like I was talking about something that I had put in front of my child as an expectation and the idea that when you put these routines in front of a child, they kind of pick up that like this is just the way it is mm -hmm. rather than dad said so. Mm -hmm. It almost gets translated to this is the way the world mm, works. Yes, this right. is how life and so is. that's what structure and rules right. and a household structure creates for a child is it's less that I have to do it because daddy said so, which can create some more resistance maybe. Mm -hmm. And it's more maybe just like, this is the way the world is. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is just what we do. Mm -hmm. And then when you keep doing it day after day after day, right. then it just becomes it's a, pattern. a routine. Right. It, and it fits right along with um, child through grade school type development brain development. They're looking to you for your values to begin to pick from their values because this is the way the world is. So that that other part where just because parents said so, you want to save that battle more for when they're in junior high, when they're beginning to challenge some of those as they're looking at what are the differences, because now I know there's differences in the world between me and what my parents had. So there we go. So we've hit three minutes. And basically, uh, as you guys said, there's a whole course on this that we have on our website, empoweringchoices.community, or the app, which you can download by searching Empowering Choices Parenting in the App Store. And we'll see you on our next uh, topic in three minutes. Bye.